All right, so we opened up the NBA season with a good one between the Philadelphia 76ers and the Boston Celtics. Um, this was a pretty good game for the most part. Uh, honestly, I just had a few takeaways uh, from the game. So first, let's start off with James Harden started off the game on fire. Um, he got fouled three times on a three-pointer. <laughs> one of those was an and one. Um, he had 22 points in the first half. Uh, and I just made a video uh, talking about the possible decline of James Harden. And honestly, I feel like most people will look at that game tonight and say that I was wrong about the decline. But I'm still seeing some small things that say I'm actually more right. Um, I mean, honestly, he did have two po 22 points. But again, he got fouled on three three-pointers, which, let's be honest, this, in the NBA, that's not going to happen a lot. Um, he's still settling for a lot of step backs. And that tells me he's still not confident in getting to the rim. Uh, I, I think he's going to have to break down the defense and get into the paint. If he's settling for step back threes all season long, it's going to be a long season for the 76ers. Um, I, but I will say his playmaking still looks phenomenal. I, I think that's still at the top of the league uh, as far as that goes. He looks like he's trying to play with a lot of skill, which is why I think he's relying on that step back. Because, again, I don't think he trusts that hamstring or whatever injury that was that's holding him back so from a counting you know stats perspective he had a, a pretty good overall game I think he finished like 35 8 and 8 or something like that um, so I'm not gonna say he played bad he, he, he played great I, I just think looking forward to this season if he continues to play the way he played I don't see it boding well for this team um, just simply because of like you see the way the game ended um, he kind of faded uh, the, the Boston Celtics defenders are picking up on like the fact that he was literally just going to try and step back. So they were playing him for the step back. They knew it was going to be essentially like in a, a fake attempt at a drive just to get them leaning and then trying to get to that step back. And guys like Jason Tatum, even Tyrese Maxey sat on it a little bit at, um, not Tyrese Maxey, <laughs> um, Jason Tatum and like Marcus Smart and those guys, they were sitting on that crossover and knew he was trying to get to that step back and they, did a pretty good job at stopping it uh, so much to the point where like in the fourth quarter, he was pretty much non-existent. Um, again, he finished 35 points. So I'm not going to say he had a bad game. I'm not that much of a hater. He did have a really good game. I just hope uh, he shows a more willingness to get to the rim as the season goes on. All right. So enough with James Harden. Uh, let's get to the second point uh, that I want to touch on this game. They have to get Tyrese Maxey more involved. I, I think Tyrese Maxey, every time he got the ball in his hands, Something good was happening, and he does something that they don't do enough, which I think is run in transition. They run in transition. They don't run enough in transition when you look at the Philadelphia 76ers. It's half court. They're either going to pick and roll with Joel Embiid and James Harden, or they're going to throw it to jo uh, Joel Embiid in the post and wait for a double or hope for a double if, if Embiid doesn't have anything, and then they're going to try to kick it, swing, swing, looking for an open shot. Um, that gets very predictable. I, we've seen it from the Philadelphia 76ers year after year after year after year. That is their offense. If Joel can't get you something, we're going to try to get into a pick and roll. It used to be with him and Ben. Now it's with him and James. We're going to get into a pick and roll. And if that doesn't work, then oh well. Maybe once in a while we'll get a Tobias Harris post up, which isn't the greatest shot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think they need to give the ball to Maxi more. If you watch the game tonight, you see Max every time Maxi touches the ball, he's running it up the court in transition. If he's in the half court, he's getting to the rim, which is something that James Harden isn't giving you. I think if they're getting more to the cup and giving the ball to Maxi, which because he can do that, things things open up a little more for the rest of the team. Um, you know, there is the kick out options to shooters. I think a driving, not think, I know because I've played basketball and not at like a super high level or anything like that, but just on a, a high school level, a driving kick into an open shooter is a lot more effective than just swing, swing, shoot. That, that doesn't really get you into a, a good rhythm. Um, so I, I think they have to get the ball to Maxi more. I think when you, you go back and look at this game, he was so effective with the ball. And honestly, I was expecting him to be their second leading scorer this season. Um, and if, if they played through him the way I think that they should, obviously not play through him in that sense, but you know, playing through Joel Embiid, 
But if he gets the touches in the right spots, like I think he should, he he should have the opportunity to be that second leading scorer because of how good he is. I think he has potential to be an all-star this year, if I'm being quite honest with you. Um, but I guess time will tell, man. Um, so that's my little quick recap for this game. Uh, not too much. I'm not going to make too many predictions and overreactions to the first game. Um, I, you know, I, I, I do think they could play a little more through Maxi. I'm not too sold on James Harden. Again, he had a first good ga- first good game back on the opening night. Um, but honestly, I'm just excited that, you know, NBA basketball is back. Uh, and, you know, I can't wait to keep doing these recaps throughout the season. Uh, so get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, what's your first impressions of the first game back for the season were? Um, if you agree or disagree with any of my takes, you know, let me know. I'm responding to everything down there. Uh, until next time, appreciate you guys for watching.